the galaxies formed. So, in the beginning, there was a lot of gas and dust floating around in space. And over time, gravity did its thing and pulled all that gas together, collapsing it into a disc shape with a bulge in the middle and a bunch of spiral arms. And that's how we got our beautiful spiral galaxies. But not so fast. There's more to the story. See, as that gas was collapsing, it wasn't just spinning around randomly. It had a lot of angular momentum, which is like a fancy physics term for spinning really fast. And because of that, the galaxy formed a flat disk with the spiral arms and a central bulge. But then something interesting happened as the galaxy grew. It started to interact with other galaxies and stars. And those interactions caused the spiral arms to become more and more tightly wound until... BAM! We got spiral galaxies like the Milky Way. And if you look closely at the center of a spiral galaxy, you'll see a bright point of light. That's the supermassive black hole. That's at the center of almost every galaxy including ours. It's not just there for the rock. No, that black hole is actively growing, consuming gas and dust and even whole stars. And as it grows, it blasts out huge amounts of energy, shaping the galaxy around it. So remember, next time you look up at the night sky and see those beautiful spiral galaxies, you're looking back in time 200 billion years. You're seeing the birth of the universe in real time.